Max, something crossed my mind a, a few days ago, and I wanted to run it by you. Uh, you know, on sports teams, it's common, or I, I should say, you know, typically the teams with the best success, they they have maybe one or two stars, right? And and then, you know, a, a strong supporting cast, right? Yep. And I was wondering if if in special forces, is that the same way? You know, on, on, a, on a team of guys, do, do you have one or two rock stars and then the others are kind of kind of back up from there or, or at that level is the, is the playing field really even amongst all the, the people no that's a great great question and absolutely the same thing but those guys who are in supporting roles they aspire to be like that rock star yeah if it weren't for those rock stars there would be no up and coming rock stars i remember here's a story for you my first team leader I won't say his whole name, but Kevin, he was, everybody in the unit knew him. Every other squadron operator knew him. This guy was top of the freaking heap at the unit. And how I landed a slot on his team, I don't know, because when you finish OTC, it's like an NFL draft. You know, you, you go to a sergeant ma sergeant's major board, and they ask you questions, and each sergeant major has a turn to pick who he wants. And I ended up on the best team in, in the unit, but uh, Kevin was leaving. He did. There was a time in like the mid or late nineties where the army was offering guys early retirement, 15 years. And he took it uh, because he had a lot of job offers on the outside and they were similar to what he was doing only three or four times the paycheck. <laughs> And before he left, I was like, man, I am going to miss you so much. You're a freaking superstar, this and that. He goes, hey, check it out. You're going to be one of those superstars. You're, you're fast tracking to be one of those. Just, you know, and he reminded me that you, you need to keep doing what you're doing. Emulate those dudes who are doing all the freaking, the extra, uh, the extra heavy lifting. You know, just keep emulating those dudes. But uh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. There were those dudes who stood out and, um, and if you didn't want to be like them, something was wrong, bro. Same with the sports team, right? It's like, damn, man, you know, these guys are, I mean, we are the best team because we have these superstars. Not only do I want to run a supporting role to help them, but I need to get better. So if they leave, I could take their place as that superstar. Which I, you know, I hope everybody aspires to do that kind of stuff. I would imagine that could be the same even for like corporate world, right? Where if you have the same roles, everybody has the same roles, but you have two people uh, that are outperforming everybody. You're like, what in the hell are they doing? And you ask them, you know, because in the corporate world, there's probably competition and it that wouldn't work the same. But, you know, you want to ask them, hey, what do I need to do to be like you? Well, you need to show up early. You need to go home late. You need to freaking um, study this, study that. You need to put the extra work in, the extra mileage, and somehow fi find balance in your life uh, at the same time. But yeah, man, that's cool. Cool as hell. Appreciate that question. Thank you.